morning and thanks for joining us on the Tuesday edition of TVC Breakfast. I'm Veronica Danik Boy. It's a full house this morning as I have Super Samuel Mashe as well as Mike Okoche. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. It's another day Great this morning. week, yes. uh, another day to be alive and to thank God. But this time around, we want to quickly begin our conversation with um, NAFDAQ approving the R21 uh, malaria vaccine in the, for the country. Uh, the DG of uh, NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Adeye, said that uh, this will help prevent malaria in children within the ages of five months to 36 months. Although the vaccine is said to have 77% efficacy, um, uh, Ghana has even told the line of also approving this. But now this is coming before the market approval or market authorization of the vaccine, which is a source of concern for some Nigerians, Sam? Yeah, it's uh, almost like uh, a, com a competition between urgency and efficacy. Mm. And, uh, and they are feeling that, uh, well, we think that this thing can work, and so let us do it. Uh, it is... Uh, it is also a reflection of the Nigerian uh, impatience with uh, detail. Uh, the process usually goes through uh, a number of stages. Right. You know, they, they, they usually go through about four stages and does not reach the final stage of trial. There's a reason they go to the final stage of, final st uh, stage of trial. Uh, the final stage of trial requires you to do a uh, sort of mass tests to mm -hmm. see how it will work uh, with a num uh, great number of people between 1,000 and 3,000 people and to see what, is, what it is with the common folks, how it works with the common folks, especially in a population like ours. It also uh, gives them the opportunity to assess the side effects you know, they have on... Uh, clinical trials. On children. Yes, in these clinical trials. The other, the other trials are also clinical, but they are different levels, levels you know. Yeah. They do uh, some groups. Uh, I'm sure this, that's where they have gone, and because they've done the group tests, uh, we probably stage, uh, I think stage two or stage three. Stage three. Mm -hmm. Stage three. Mm -hmm. And then when they say, okay, some groups have done it, it's okay, it's okay, and let yeah. us... Let us uh, Get it. I think in the case of Viagra, that's what they did. They did the Viagra, <laughs> and uh, uh, when they did the Viagra test in those days, uh, they used uh, the wife of uh, Bob Doe, okay. the woman who had. Um, well, no, they used Bob Doe okay. because they said the trial was. They were trying to use it for heart problem, and it turned out to be uh, a goal for men. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened? Um, but those wives said the thing is wonderful. I mean, the wife, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but they were trying to find something. So it shows you how, how uh, 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 delicate these tests are oh, yes. because you don't really know what in the final analysis mm -hmm. you get. So Pfizer was trying to drink heart problem. What they did was they took care of the heart of men and women. <laughs> 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 So that's oh. what. Uh, <laughs> Sam just has a way of uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, 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 so that was that was what happened. So it is always necessary to get this thing done to the final analysis. Yes. And they have not done that. I know that's why I say it's a it's a kind of a conflict between um, necessity, or urgency, and necessity. Mm. Yeah. So that is uh, that is where it is. But. Um, we hope that they got it right. 600,000 uh, Nigerians die every year, at mm -hmm. least, of malaria. Yeah. People get malaria all the time. I've had malaria this year myself. So, <laughs> so it is, uh, mm. it is uh, something that uh, is, is a killer. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are 27% or 30-something percent mm. of the deaths. Mm. At least a quarter of the deaths uh, in the world it's uh, happened like here in Nigeria. Yeah. So yeah. it's an urgency. Maybe yeah. that is why they're saying, okay, well, what is this problem about wasting time? Let us just say Perhaps yeah, that's let's, why they're just having about 100,000 uh, first uh, yes. delivery, mm. perhaps. And it's we, also we, a we provisional. See, yes. Provisional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's provisional. We, we see the desperation because Nigeria accounts for 27%, uh, some was saying 27% yeah. of infection worldwide yeah. and then 32% of deaths worldwide. Mm. So it tells you that Nigeria leads 
in, in the cases of malaria worldwide. So you could see the desperation to see, okay, let's bring this thing in and see, see how, how we can address uh, exactly. it. Yep. Well, however, we know that about 4,800 babies on the continent are being, you know, are, are in the uh, tests, you know, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the tests, trials. The, the, the trials, as the yeah. case may be. About 4,000 800 babies are on test right now mm. on the African continent from Burkina Faso to Kenya to Tanzania and so on. Mm. And they, because they are trying them region by region to see, you know, How the, character, the character respond. of the vaccine with these people, yeah. you know, due to some peculiarities and mm. so on. So, so all of that is there. And uh, the, the point there is, is the welcome development, I must mm. say, because malaria has killed a lot of people over the decades, the African continent, you know, for both Africans and even uh, foreigners who have been here, we've, we've heard of malaria, you know, infection and, and, and deaths. Mm -hmm. So at, at this time, in fact, people had expected that the malaria vaccine would have been available long before now, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, we understand the politics, the, the, the global politics around issues like this and so yeah. on. So well, it's, it's a long a, way. It's a long way from uh, the colonial period. Yeah, when, of course. Uh, when uh, the white man came to these parts and didn't have any cure for malaria, yes. and the white men were dying in mm -hmm. droves. They called yes. West Africa the white man's grave yeah. before <laughs> Doctor Becky came, developed the quinine. Mm -hmm. it is, this is the story yeah. we have been coming from the development of quinine up to today. So yes. quinine is still very. Critical. Yeah. But you know, we have it in our Dongo Yaros and we're using it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>